Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a day in the life. It's Tuesday, no, it's Wednesday morning, April 10th. Um, and we're gonna have ourselves a little day. Here, drinking my latte. I made it, it's about just almost seven o'clock, um, as you can see. I got up at like 6.20 is when my alarm goes off. I made my latte and posted on Insta. And now we're gonna read the Bible, finish my latte, and get the day started. I do this every single morning. Um, it was a habit that I created during the 75 hard. Um, and the 75 hard's been over for quite a while, probably over a month now, for sure over a month. And I miss it. I honestly really miss it. I miss a lot of the habits that I had. So I'm kind of in the midst of like, just utilizing those habits, but not making it as strict, not forcing them, but like utilizing them to my best ability. So start my day with reading still. I start my day, I like read on the Stairmaster, I read before bed or I read in the mornings. Um, I drink, I aim for a gallon of water every single day, like three of my hydro tumblers. Um, and I, the thing I think I've missed the most is the consistency with my eating because I felt so good. Uh, I think I was my happiest. I felt the best. I looked better than I do now, I'll be honest. Like I'm not as lean as I was. That's totally fine. Like that's okay. Would I prefer to be a little leaner? Obviously I feel like everyone does, but I was thinking I was training for half marathon. I was doing 75 hard and I was like eating better. All of a sudden I cut out like a whole 45 minute cardio session every single day. I'm eating the same, if not worse. Like obviously I'm gonna put on some body fat and that's fine because what I was doing was like fitting my lifestyle and my routines. But I miss like where I was, how I felt. I miss the way I was eating because it made me feel amazing. I miss being outside. So I'm gonna kind of implement a morning walk is like my goal or a nightly like walk or a hike. Like I miss doing that. Um, honestly, the hardest part about 75 hard was just on those days where I was genuinely so busy, like from the minute I woke up till I went to bed and I would walk at like 11 o'clock at night, not doing that, but I would say like 50% of the time I'm home and I have the ability to go on a walk in the morning or I'm home at night and I have the ability to go walk at night. So I'm gonna start doing that again, actually because it's getting warmer. So I need to like really utilize that until it's like too hot to want like to want to do that. Um, but that's kind of my goals right now. I, hormones have been hitting me um, heavy recently. So I think that's been a, like an, a, so I also think that's been an impact and like a factor on my training. Like I've been really tired, really moody, sluggish. Today's the first day I woke up and I was like ready to go. Like I woke up naturally at 5.30, but I was like, I feel like my body needs more rest. So I went back to bed to my alarm went off at 620. Um, but I vlogged. I started vlogging Monday and I was like tired, exhausted, in a mood for no reason. It was like a hormone thing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Little Miss <laughs> period shows up today because it's like I woke up and I feel like a new person. So um, yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm going to vlog today just because I have the energy. I want to bring the energy <sighs> and cheers. I'm really quick placing an order on TLF because they are launching these like mesh shorts this month. And they look so cute. All my friends are wearing them. I got them in the mail and I was like, okay, I need. Uh, but I didn't know how they fit. So I like waited until they got them to see. Um, and yeah, they're super cute. So I'm going to order some. Miami, Miami Mecca shorts and they're so cute. Um, I think I'm going to get them in a medium. They're men's, but I, I got some thighs and I hate when stuff's too tight. Um, okay, I just drummed up a really fun little workout that I'm going to... It's gonna be like a hit circuit with a run, um, with two runs, like a mile and a half runs each. We're gonna see how it goes. It'll be a lot of running, cause I wanted to do a run today. I was gonna do hills, but I was like, wait, I kind of want to do like a full body functional type vibe. So we're gonna try it out. We gotta figure out what I wanna wear. If I wanna wear my black TLF set. I just really like this outfit. I don't know. I like the black vibes when I do hard workouts. Okay, this is the fit. I go great because it is definitely hair washing day. And that's kind of why I wanted to do like a sweaty good workout today too. Um, but I'm excited for like a good workout because the last few days, like I did a run on Monday and I felt awful. I did five miles and it like literally felt terrible. And then um, I think I'm going to shoot for a long run this week. I don't know. I kind of want to do another long run this weekend. I need to get back into that. Um, so we'll see. And then, um, but I do need to get back into that. So we'll see. But I um, have energy today. So I'm like, I want to take advantage of that. And I want to do a good little sweaty workout. And it's only eight. And so it's not too hot out yet. It's going to get warm. So I want to go do it now because it's going to be kind of like an outdoor workout at my gym here at my complex. They have like garage doors and they open. 
so I want to like open it and like run in and out of the gym and there's like a little turf section um, that I worked out on, out on Sunday but Sunday they it wasn't open so I want to open it today because it's like staffed or whatever so yeah I think the plan for the workout is going to be a mile and a half jog and then I'm going to do like a couple circuits and then um, like finish with like a mile and a half jog and then maybe throw a mile jog in the middle of it um, so we'll see Let's see. I might be overestimating myself, <clears throat> but also too, I feel like I'm not a big difference. I feel like I can handle that. Here's the fit. I feel like I'm going on a long run. I always braid my hair for long runs. POV, I'm making breakfast and I started adding coconut cream or coconut milk to my oatmeal and it gets like thick after you open it so you have to froth it. And I was like, why is it not stirring? Lift it up. It was stirring. Literally got it everywhere. All over me. It's all over my kitchen right now. <laughs> I have to clean my kitchen today anyways, but like wasn't wanting to do that right now. That's so annoying. It's literally all over me. Everywhere. That's so awesome. You it's like on my it's on my freaking fridge, it's all over my espresso machine, me, the floor, the stove, the counter. Okay, I just made breakfast protein oats per usual with coconut milk, brown sugar oatmeal, beams, vegan protein, cook Chloe to save, 10%, cinnamon chocolate chips, and peanut butter. Um, this is the peanut butter that I use still, my tried and true. So delicious, get it at Trader Joe's. Okay, I just finished breakfast. That was so good. That was like the best consistency in bowl of oats I've had in a minute. I think the coconut cream was like perfect. I realized it was coconut cream, not coconut milk, so I think that's why it's more creamy. Um, but it's 8.20. I'm going, or it's 8.30, I guess. I'm, I feel like I'm doing pretty good with time. I'm going to, um, I also feel like I haven't gotten anything done at the same time, so I don't know. I'm going to go on a walk and see if the gym is open. Like, I want it to be. Otherwise, I'm going to cut. If it's not, I'm going to come home and clean after my walk. Otherwise, I'm going to go just get the workout started. But the walk will be, like, a good little warm-up into the workout, if that's the case. Um, so, yeah. All right, I went on, like, a 10-minute walk, too. <laughs> just, like, around. Um, gym was... Or like the office is so close so I'm gonna clean up my kitchen and be productive and let my food do just a bit more because I feel like I probably should do that honestly um, so I didn't eat that long ago I we were doing like high intensity stuff um finish my pre-workout and then go back up there and recheck but it's a bit warmer outside than I thought so I'm not gonna need this jacket I don't know why it's literally like mid-April in Arizona it's gonna be like 90 today <laughs> Okay guys, I'm currently two thirds of the way through my workout. Um, I got them to open the garage in our gym, so I'm like literally outside right now. It's amazing. Um, the temperature's like perfect. It's like way too hot in there to like wanna do a workout. Um, but, cause there's like not AC in the gym, so I was like dying. But I do a mile and a, it's like 1.25, one and a half ish. Cause I'm not measuring it. I have like an, a hit workout set on my watch. So I don't know how far I'm running, but based on like my other run distances, it's like a mile and a half. Um, and then I do it like a circuit. And I've done two of the runs. I have to go do my last one and then I'll be done. But the run's like, it's hard, but it's like not hard. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like still like 10 minutes of running. But like I'm used to running like 30, 45 plus at a time. But technically I'm still doing that. I'm just breaking it up and doing like circuits in between. So I really like this workout. Um, my energy is definitely back today, so I'm feeling so much better. All kind of nice though. Doing, I love outside workouts. Like I would work out like this every single day if I could. Um, and I'm taking it full advantage until it gets like way too hot to do so. Um, I wish I would have done this more this winter because like this would have been perfect, but I didn't. So anyway, um, ciao. Okay, I just finished my workout. I forgot I had a meeting at 11, so I had to hop on a, a call for 45 minutes. And then I just filmed my workout and I'm taking some photos. But it has their sale going on right now, so that just dropped. 15 minutes ago and yeah, I feel like that threw me off because I and my phone's dying it's at one percent so I had to film one here um and I'm a little stressed but we're making it work okay I'm back home I just filmed a what's in my gym bag haul it's already one o'clock I don't know how um I just filmed I look so gross and sweaty but I needed to get it up because the sale started and I didn't realize TikTok shop 
has young LA clothes and so I was like I need to, I need to do that so I filmed it, it looked like a boy um, but I'm going to shower and feel so much better than I'm gonna cook lunch um, but I literally filmed that real quick just got it posted but I'm glad I did that because I was bent on my to-do list for a few days but I'm glad I waited till today because I wouldn't have added the TikTok shop link to it I didn't even know I had it I should have known but I didn't anyway that's the update I can't wait to shower I can feel like the dried sweat on me it's gross all right it is 120 and now I'm gonna make lunch I just showered I feel so much better and clean oh I'm glad I did that um so for lunch you guys I have a new hyper fixation I'm obsessed with it so I'm obsessed with zucchinis oh my gosh sauteed zucchinis are my new favorite thing ever um ignore how disorganized my fridge is if you can see it okay that's on the to-do list for the day um avocado we're using a lot more healthy fats okay oh, I love my protein I just realized all right so we're gonna be making that for dinner instead because I don't have any meat thawed um so give me a minute to re think this through I just found this Olipop in my fridge and I forgot I had it. It's a banana Olipop. I'm gonna try it. That's interesting. Alright. Well, don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. We had no food. Okay. Um, a little bit panicked. We're back with the tried and true lunch, which is just like an egg wrap. Um, I use like refried beans, spinach, tortilla, um, some peppers and spinach. I usually put like deli turkey or something like that in there. We don't have any. Like I said, desperately need a grocery run. Um, yeah, we're going to get this going. All right, here's my lunch. It's eggs and then peppers, spinach, and then refried beans on a tortilla, Cholulu, Cholulu, Cholula, and then I put some tortilla chips in it. You guys, it's so good. Getting ready, I'm gonna show you guys my new makeup routine because I got new makeup. Y'all know if you've seen any of my other vlogs, I'm always like, oh, it's the same thing. It's been the same thing. No, I updated stuff. Also, I have a Crime Junkie podcast playing in the back. Sorry to hear that. Anyway, I start with um, Maybelline's Primer Base, Pigment Control, and Blurring. That Fenty Beauty one, I love it. It's a little dark now for me um, because I got this when I had a spray tan, but I got it at Target and I love, 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 love it so much. And you go back to Target and get like a lighter shade, but until then. I use the Lancome concealer. This is the same one I've been using. Um, and then I use this Too Faced bronzer. It's the shade Natural Chocolate. Um, this is a new product and I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. The perfect amount of tan in my opinion like it's not too much it's not too little and i know my foundation is too dark i'm literally probably gonna go to target today and get a new one okay now we're deep cleaning so i'm cleaning my bathroom um sink um because honestly i just need to get it done because i'm gonna be crazy busy these next few days and i need to stop putting it off Okay, I just got off a call with my client, Lindsay. Um, if you guys remember, she ran a half marathon with me back in January here in Arizona, and she's running a full marathon. We're training for a full marathon. She's running it in like two and a half weeks, so she's a 22 miler this week. And I just got off a chat with her talking about like the mindset and where we want her at for the race, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited for her. Uh, but now I need to get back to making my bed. Fortunately, have Oh, also guys, look how cute this is. Random. I bought this little wallet yesterday at um, Altered State. I think it's so cute and girly. Oh no, I love it. Um, Because my little Louis Vuitton one I lose all the time. I just need something bigger. But I fortunately have like two sets of bedding. If you don't do that, I know it's not probably like the most necessary thing, but it's so handy because I always have clean bedding just to put on right away. And it's fun to like switch it up. Um, so we're going back with this these pink. These are more springy too. It's pink floral sheets and then just like a white um, Duvet so now I need to do the terrible task of putting these back on I hate putting my duvet on um, So I'm gonna do that and I'll have to eat after You 
guys, look how freaking cute these new Adidas sneakers I got are. They're the Gazelle, but they're the bold ones. So they're like a platform. I am so obsessed, like so obsessed. I cannot wait. I'm gonna wear them around and then I'm gonna go run an errand or two so I can wear them. Not really, I do need to go to the store, but it's giving me motivation to go to the store. Like look how freaking cute those are. I love them. Jake's girlfriend had them. And um, I totally copied her because I was I told her I'm like I'm so obsessed I need Aren't they so cute? I love them. I Feel like though if you get them size down these are eight and a half. So I thought it was an eight and a half, but they're kind of big I Love them. They're like giving vans, but like cute cuter Hmm love Okay, I just got to Sprouts. I actually just deep cleaned my fridge um, and threw out some stuff and then kind of just like did a little, created a list of like what we needed to restock on. Um, so I'm gonna run in there. I just got tired, it's like 5.30. I don't know why, it just hit me, but we're gonna go in there. I love my new little wallet, I think that's so cute. Um, grab what we need, get in and out, and then we'll be having ourselves a good old little afternoon night. Um, my plan for the rest of the night is to cook dinner when I get back, probably, and then go on a walk and go to bed. Smell the bakery section every single time makes me just want to buy all the desserts, but we're here to get sourdough. Um, that looks really good. I think this is one we've gotten before, though. Um, there's a lot of options. I'm actually kind of overwhelmed. Hmm. Like what San Francisco sourdough versus regular? Okay, maybe they. I don't know. I truly didn't realize there were so many different kinds. Okay, so this is part of what I got, and then I've already gotten some stuff in here, but quite the haul. I guess a proper haul of what I got because I actually got some new stuff. Um, I got some cold brew. I've been drinking hot lattes, but like throughout the day, sometimes I like crave a cold brew, and I don't want to go like buy one at a store. Or like coffee shop, so I just got some cold brew to have in the fridge. Um, restocked up on my good culture cottage cheese because they didn't have it last time I went. Um, bought three more zucchinis because I eat like one a day. Um, got more avocados because I eat those every day now too. Um, and then I got some ground beef. I usually get it at Costco, but I haven't been to Costco and I just like wanted to have some on hand. I always forget to bring my reusable bags too. It does mean it's <laughs> this bag, we'll get into this second because <laughs> I went a little crazy. Um, okay, and then this is kind of what is this? Okay, um, I got some deli turkey. This is pepper smoked turkey breast, it looks really good. And honestly, Sprouts has really good deli meat if you eat deli meat. And then I got these um, organic wild mushrooms with Italian herbs, chicken sausage, kind of good. Ate them the other day, and then baking sourdough like every oh, there, get vlog. Jake eats sourdough every single day, so I had to get more sourdough. You need to wash your hands. And then eggs. I don't eat eggs either, because I think they're gross, but Jake eats them. And then the last bag, you guys. This is kind of funny. So I walked in. I didn't even have any of these on my list, but then I was actually craving pickles yesterday, and I didn't have any, so I was going to get some. And then I went down to the pickle section, and I just went down from there. So I got dill spears, because these are just good to, like, I don't know, eat. But then I love bread and butter. Like I have to get bread and butter pickles too. But then low key, I love olives. So I was craving green olives. I don't know why. I've never craved this in my entire life like this hard. And then the the Greek olive. How do you? Kalamata? Is that how you say it? Kalamata? I don't know. These. I get these in my cobble bowls. Mm, they're so good. So I get those. And then I got some rice because I need to start actually making rice, not microwave being it. And then I got more CVX to put some my lattes in the morning and I'm out. And then this, this looks fun. The packaging kind of sold me on it. Um, look at the little taste says. Um, black cherry, it's not cold though. Mmm. Wait, that's kind of good. Air juice. Interesting. And then I got this because somebody recommended it on TikTok. And I put this in my um, cobble bowl too. But that's the haul. <sighs> wow, I feel like I got a lot more. <laughs> Those are your tacos. Okay, I just sliced up a zucchini and I have turkey getting cooked. I'm gonna saute the zucchini now and
Okay, so I have I have a zucchini going. Um, ground turkey's done. Rice is in the microwave. Jake and the boys are. I'll give you a glimpse as to what's going on in my garage right now. That whole boat renovation. They've been doing that. Shit done. They've been doing that the past day or so. Now nah, I'm getting my sleep stack. Come show them the sleep stack. Yeah. I don't take this, but Jake swears by it. If you have trouble sleeping and recovering. I have trouble sleeping. I can show you my whoop statistics. Yeah, he does swear by it. It's a lot of pills. It's scary. Let me look. Magnesium. Me. Okay. Glycine. Glycine. Oh, thionine. Theanine. Theanine. I don't. Theanine. It worked. No idea what that is. Incinol. Um, this stuff, it's going to relax you for deeper sleep. Mm -hmm. um, L-teething. Um. This is for focus and sleep, so you can use it during the daytime mm. or nighttime for uh, the sleep. This, glycine, um, this is what's going to lower your body temperature. This is why cold showers before you go to bed is actually proven to help you sleep better because your body drops in temperature as you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. So before you go take your warm, hot, cozy shower, that's all hot, mm -hmm. and then get in bed, you're not going to sleep as well. You mm. might think you are, but your body can't lower its body temp mm. as soon. And this is gonna lower your body temp. Okay. And magnesium is just really good for you. Yeah, magnesium, that is one stuff that I would take, but I don't take the sleep stack. I don't really have issues sleeping, but I could try it maybe and just see if it improves my sleep. But white rice action, I gotta finish the bags. I bought a rice cooker yesterday on Amazon, so it gets here tomorrow. I bought rice at the store, so I'm gonna get going on that from here on out. Let me get my bowl going. Uh, oh, fudge. Take your rice and then you guys, life hack. Add a little bit of coconut oil. I've been getting a lot better at using healthy fats and incorporating them into my meals. Um, the best freaking thing in rice is just like half a teaspoon even. It doesn't have to be that much of uh, coconut oil. It not it so much good, Jake? It's amazing, it's life changing. Like you'll never go back. Just a little bit, just throw it in there. It literally makes your rice so good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go in with these. Lots of ground turkey. And then, you guys, I'm not done. Going in with some sauces in an avocado. See, Jake, this is what I was telling you. You, okay, why is it not working? Usually you can like stab it and twist it. How's that work? <laughs> it, it's worked for me every time besides right now. Mm -hmm. I was, it's done. Just throw some avocado in there. Get this meal, like, oh, I've eaten it. So good. Every single day. Oh. Then I go in with this Japanese barbecue sauce. It's kind of like a soy sauce. Yeah, use the spicy one. Um, and then I'm gonna try this. It's garlic sauce I got today at the store. Oh, I sharded myself. Wow. And that is my dinner. That looks bang in. Bang in! Wee! That is my bowl, you guys. I literally eat this every day now it's so easy and now like i'll have prep turkey this will take a lot less i'll just have to like, cook a zucchini um and i'll prep rice too but i love it so much also you guys my goal now is to on tiktok film a what i eat in a day slash my movement for the day and like document it in the tiktok and post it every day so you guys can see what i'm eating and what i'm doing for workouts because one i think it'll hold me accountable and two it'll be like Good for you guys to see i'm doing it because i feel like i get the most requests on like what i'm doing and what i'm eating and i'll just show you guys day to day because it's intuitive so it's like literally changing every single day i don't have a, like a specific split really i don't really have a specific diet plan at all so i figured i would just document it on tiktok let's give this a taste test Mm. It's so good. Hey guys, yes, I got a question for you guys. Mm. Leave it in the comment section below. Are you guys gonna eat this? This meal right here, with a spoon or a fork? Look how she eats it. Take a bite. You're you're not plucking it at all. You're just scooping it, but you get none. <laughs> like I stabbed her. I I, I don't. Sometimes. I truly don't get it. She eats with us. I'm a poor girl. Every night, but she scoops it up like a spoon, and half of it falls off. 
Like, leave in the comments down yeah. below, please. Let us know. Are, Are you team fork or team spoon? It, or team, you don't know. You don't know, yeah, but like, common sense at least says. Fork. A spoon. <laughs> I like forks. But like. This is busting. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, I forgot to put my creamy today because honestly, it was just like a. It was a busy day. I had two meetings, had a long workout, cleaned, went to the grocery store. I don't even know where my day went. What else did I do? Um, but I'm finishing the night with some of my chocolate greens by Beam. These are so good. I'm starting to like ensure that I get my greens in every single day again because I I just feel better. I feel better when I drink them. Today I did almond milk and then a little bit of the chocolate Fairlife chocolate milk in it and they're so good. Like these literally taste like chocolate. And my stomach like is upset. Like I don't know what what it was, but something did not digest too well. So cheers to that. Okay, I forgot to show you. I just I just ate some Halo Top in front of my freezer and some Annie Bunnies. Um, and now I'm gonna go wash my face and go to bed. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm like so sleepy. Fun fact about me: washing my face is my least favorite thing ever in the whole world. Like, I genuinely, like, do not enjoy it. Like, I dread it. That's why I usually don't wear makeup. Um, because I'd rather just, like, not have to take it off. <laughs> but. We're doing it, obviously. I'm just, like, when I'm tired, you guys, I'm tired. Like, I'm such a morning person forever and always. I'm not a night person. Like, once I'm tired, I'm clocked, I'm checked. Um, and, like, caffeine today, I just had my latte. Like, that's, like, not a lot of caffeine for me. So maybe that's why I like kind of got a little slump. Um, but the thing is, I got up at 6.20. Well, technically I woke up at like 5.30. Um, but then I got up at 6.20 I've been up since. And yeah, I don't know. I just like had myself a day. Tomorrow I'm going to get up and go to the gym, get a lift, come home, get ready, record a podcast, edit this vlog. And then get ready because I got invited. I'm so excited to Country Thunder. So it's a music, country music festival. And I get a plus one, so I'm bringing Jake. It's a four day festival. So it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's Eric Church, um, Lainey Wilson, Jelly Roll, uh, Randy Hauser. Like, it's gonna be so much fun. I've never been. I've heard so many good things about it. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be really cool. I get like special VIP. I'm like, mm, that's so cool. But like, oh no, it's, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to take Jake along. Um, but that's the next four days and they're all really like late night events. Like the like main event. So like Lainey Wilson tomorrow doesn't perform till 10 p.m. And it's an hour away. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be getting home like midnight every single night. So I'm gonna be like down and out for the next four days. But then next week I have open and then the following week I go to Stagecoach. I go to Palm Springs. We're staying with, um, the guy I'm seeing is like parents. <laughs> I'm gonna meet his parents. But um, we're staying with them and Jake and his girlfriend are coming. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, but yeah, I'm like so many music festivals coming up. I literally, I'll show you actually right now you guys. It's crazy. I bought in so much country clothes. I don't, I don't shop country. So I've literally bought this over the last like week or so. I'm really excited. Not all of it's, no, most of it's new. But um, I just have so many concerts in the next month, so. We're just gonna get through one at a time and then go from there. But I'm feeling I'm gonna be dead tired by the end of the week. Um, so we're gonna probably sleep in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, get my workouts in. That's why I like clean today. I'm like, I just wanna be like, like tomorrow I'm gonna get my podcast done. I wanna get all my work done so I can just clean or now I have like a clean upstairs and whatever. But what I was saying is I'm gonna have a clean house and my work done and i'll feel so much better um so then because we don't have to go to the concerts until later at night so i'll have like my afternoons and mornings so i'm just gonna like get editing done and stuff um but yeah that's the plan and i'm gonna finish washing my face i'm still using zoa skin my esthetician here i go to frost aesthetics in mesa um and this is what she put me on and i'm really liking it so far um i just hate washing my face because it's like annoying but other than that this is a spray a purifying mist 
a little moisturizer. I stopped using like, I got these like oil pads. It was drying out my face so bad. Like my skin was burning every single time. I would sweat um, or wash my face. So I stopped using those um, and I still use these though. Anyway, I'm glad I got that done. Now to brush my teeth. I'm very glad that I re-vlogged today because I gave you guys a much better vlog. <laughs> like I actually did stuff today, Monday. I just like wasn't there. All right, I'm gonna lay in bed and read my Atomic Habits book. And yeah, it's literally 9.22, I'm not kidding. literally 9 22 but it feels so nice to have like clean bed to get into i just cannot wait to go to bed i'm so sleepy um but thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much um and i will see you in the next video